it's Saturday. We're still here. We hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. So again, the theme for this particular trip here in Orlando has been consistently, guys, that it's hot. It is hot in September in Orlando. And so Eric and I were just talking in the elevator. We're out right now, getting, you know, just doing our little morning walk before we head to the park. But anyway, I got on the elevator and I said, oh my gosh, I forgot to put deodorant on. <laughs> and Eric was like, you're supposed to put deodorant on when you get out of the shower. So, this you is know. Like that, this is like that toilet <laughs> tissue debate. Do you right. have the toilet tissue on the outer roll or on the inner roll? Yeah. So, I got up this full disclosure. I have not showered this morning. I, I of course, showered last night. Okay. And I don't put deodorant on at night. Because I'm just going to sleep. I don't get musty in my sleep. All right. So got up this morning. I have not showered yet because, you know, we're out here walking. Of course, I will shower when we get back to the room. So I forgot to put the deodorant on when I left. So I'm just trying to think cool thoughts right now. But Eric says, guys, put deodorant on. After we shower. After every shower. So is that a, is that a woman thing? Do women... <laughs> have the privilege of waiting until they actually go somewhere to put on deodorant because <laughs> I think with men's uh -huh. body odor that would not work really so maybe that is a privilege that you guys have or maybe women maybe you're the only one that does that I think you should put on deodorant after you get out of the shower let me know, let know in the comments when you guys raging debate. put deodorant on also let us know about the toilet <laughs> tissue thing do you have the toilet tissue I think it's called on, on I outside? think it's over under oh are you an over person or an under person yeah I'm over Eric I think you don't really care I like over. You like over too? But these are the type of deep, <laughs> thought-provoking <laughs> debates we have on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> so, so babe, yesterday, I think it was yesterday where we talked about the hair and you felt it was cultural appropriation <laughs> for men or against men that women are now taking you know, our hairstyles. <laughs> taking you guys' hairstyles. But how do you actually feel? So I guess this is our third controversial topic for today. <laughs> um, I liked it. So I will be honest. Uh huh. Now before you got it colored, mm -hmm. I wasn't as big a fan of it. Uh huh. Um, because to me it just looked too similar to like a man's hairstyle. But I think I really like it. So if I kept it black, you'd be like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Really? But I love the way it definitely accentuates your cheekbones. <laughs> you know, all your features. Your your dimples that you claim to have. <laughs> so, so I'm really falling right. in love with it. So a scale of one to ten, right now, what do you give the look, the cut? Probably a twelve. Ah! All right, guys. So we are taking just a quick break from our walk. Um, to kind of sit and chat about some of the things that we've read here in the comments on the last two videos a few of you were a little bit concerned that eric and i as a family were oblivious to what was going on as it relates to hurricane irma many of you wanted to or couldn't understand why it was that we would actually get up and go on vacation during a hurricane but i'm, I'm not sure if a lot of you understand that uh, Hurricane Irma, Irma actually did come through Atlanta. We actually lost power. We had millions of people out in Atlanta um, without power. And so um, what happened is where we live, specifically in our neighborhood mm -hmm. and at our house, the evening Irma hit, you could actually, across the street, we had a transformer explode. We had several fuses. You could actually see it. Line. Um, we looked out the window and it was like green sparks and it explosions. It was like the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty loud. Um, so when I saw that, I knew we were going to be without power for days and days and days. And actually the next day they said 1.5 million people in Georgia were without power. Mm -hmm. So we had at that point the vacation reservations here. We called the hotel and said, hey, do you guys have power? Keep in mind too, Eric said we had the hotel reservations. We plan our vacations almost a year out. We are planners here in the family. So when we go on vacation, it is not something that we did the week before. Our vacations are planned out months, almost a year in advance. So this vacation was already on the books. So it just so happens 
by us having this vacation on the books, this was a great place for us to get away from the power outage, right? Because mm -hmm. we would essentially had to evacuate yeah. Atlanta where we lived and either have had to go to a hotel. None of our friends had power either. Right. So we called the hotel, said, hey, do you guys have power? They said, yeah, come on They down. never even lost, they never power, lost power here power. in Orlando. Actually, I think Orlando did a better job of dealing with the, with the power outage than Atlanta did. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really why we came down. And in terms of, you know, the impact to our family and friends, you know, we both went to school down here. We have We went to school to in Tallahassee. We are both Rattlers. A lot of you are Rattlers yourselves. Or I think Bethune someone Cookman. Else. Yeah, Bethune. No, no BCC. <laughs> and, um, and your whole family, can you tell them about your family ties? My grandmother is in Miami. Yeah. My aunts, my uncles, my first cousins are all in Miami. So um, the title of this video is Think Before You Comment. Um, just because we don't really you know come out and address everything in the video guys these videos are what nine 15 yeah. minutes long so please don't think that you know we are oblivious and we're just so caught up in our vacation that we don't know what's going on please think before you leave a comment on people's channels not just ours but just Anybody. other youtubers yeah. in general you really don't know what's going on in people's lives the way you're got someone left a comment and it was deleted it was it was just a terrible comment um guys you just you just don't understand what's going on in people's personal lives this platform is meant to be entertaining and to kind of get you out of your own world and we for said a minute that before, right yeah yeah and i think also in terms of you have to think a little bit deeper right in yeah. terms of the impact of florida and we saw this with katrina when you have areas that are tourist areas mm -hmm. it is important after a natural disaster to support yeah. those areas. You don't want to stop going to London or New York or New Orleans because they've had incidents. You want to still support bring those the tourist economy. dollars into those places because right. that's what supports all the people that work in those cities. Yeah, sorry guys. So we're going to go ahead and get back to our walk, but we really hope that kind of cleared up any misconceptions about Eric and I being oblivious. For those of you who left the comments saying we were oblivious, we hope this clears it up. Um, you don't get to where we are in life being oblivious to anything trust and no, believe we know, what's going on. we know what's going on in the world um but here on this channel we like to keep it light and happy and okay? i think we've said that before yeah we're never gonna be you know you can turn on the news in any day and time yeah. it's gloom and doom this I, isn't cnn <laughs> this is the unfrumpy mommy life channel okay i will say though <laughs> look if you want to have an impact mm -hmm. go and give we've done that and find what we did was uh I found an organization that would match our donation. So mm -hmm. essentially our donation got doubled. Yep. Find somewhere that will match your donation. It may be your employer, it may be somebody else. And also give to an individual. Yep. It's great to give to organizations like the Red Cross, but a lot of times if you know somebody that lives in that area that's impacted. Which is what we did. <laughs> give to friends and family directly. Because you know, yeah. charitable organizations are great, but sometimes- They take, you, you know, they, there's a minutes. process. There's a little bureaucracy yeah. in, you know, spreading out all of the donations yeah. that uh, that they receive. So find someone that you know personally in need and donate to that person. And again, that's what we did. We didn't talk about any of that on the last two videos because we didn't really feel that we needed to. You know, we felt that you guys as subscribers to the Unfrumpy Mommy Life channel, you guys know Tan and Eric. You know that we have a good heart. You know, we're good people and no way would we ever get on a video and you know, want it to seem like we are just all about ourselves. Hopefully but again, we don't have to do many more of these. <laughs> please think, guys. Think before you leave some of these yeah. comments, okay? All right, back to the vacation. <laughs> guys today we are heading over to animal kingdom today is saturday so it's gonna be kind of low-key um but we are expecting a few more crowds in the parks today because animal kingdom i think is that park where people like to go on the weekends okay um but i will say the other days over at epcot and also disney springs have been just beautiful okay the crowds have been extremely low now the weather the weather's been great but it's been really really hot but i think you know we're doing a really good job staying hydrated and we're taking breaks you guys saw in the other videos that we have been doing a lot of sitting and i think i said drinking really cool drinks so i think as long as we keep doing that we'll be all right but yeah heading over to animal kingdom today we are going to finish our little leisurely walk around the beautiful lake here 
Do you call this a lake or a pond? I think this is a lake. <laughs> we should mention too, uh, this is gonna be our first time walking through Pandora. The last time we were here, just, uh -huh. it was just bad luck. Literally, I think like the day after we left, mm -hmm. Pandora was opening, so yeah. we just missed it. Like yeah. we just missed it by like a day. So we'll do a nice little review on our thoughts mm -hmm. of uh, the whole Pandora thing you know, over at Animal Kingdom. Yeah, and, I, and this is also, speaking of first times, this is going to be our first time doing VIP parking oh, yeah. over at Animal Kingdom because it's so hot. Okay, and we're obviously not on property. We, we're gonna be parking, but Animal Kingdom has parking where you pay a little bit more, but you like park right, babe, right oh, at the right. gate. Eric, how much is the standard parking for us? It's free parking if you're an animal. Okay, so nothing. But I think with the VIP parking that we're wanting to do, it's maybe what, about $21 or something like that? Yeah, and I'm sure there's a discount with the annual pass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna park there anyway. <laughs> So the reason we want to do the VIP parking is because Animal Kingdom's parking lot is huge, okay? You can end up parking way, way off somewhere and it's it's hot. Why do we always also, why do we always <laughs> lose our car? Like we can never, even though we'll like write down where we park, uh -huh. we can never find our car. Because their parking lot is it's so huge. huge. Yeah. So this way today we can kind of park right up at the gate and just get out of the car and go on into the park. <laughs> We have made it to Animal Kingdom. We are in the preferred parking. It's not VIP, let me clear that up. It's called preferred parking. And we are a little bit closer to the entrance. I, I like, it. like it. You don't like it, why not? Here's my thing, it's too expensive. It was 40 bucks. But we got half off so because- So it's 20 bucks yeah. with the annual pass holder. But here's my thing, I don't feel like we're that much closer. Eric, the gate is right there. But here's the thing, the, the parking <laughs> is opened up to the right of us anyway, so it's like we are, maybe five rows here's the thing though here's the thing guys we got here after one o'clock had we gotten here earlier True. we would have been in a parking space all the way out there and it would have been you know a little bit different but i like i like it so here's the disney on the dime tip if you're gonna get preferred parking get here early to take advantage of it outfit of the day let's take a look at what mr eric is wearing today uh, eric now you guys know normally i don't do this you know but i thought i hit you with a little bit of a little bit of eric you know, fashion, of fashion for the jungle did got, you just see that? i got a typical dad tropical vacation t-shirt i love this i the love polaroid. the polaroid camera very camera. retro mm -hmm. So, you know. To look at it, you would think you were actually walking with a Polaroid camera around your neck. Yeah. I really like it. Uh, what about you? So, where'd you get this shirt from? Target, 10 bucks. All right. So, Can't be know. that. What about your shorts? I think, I think they're very fitting for the park we're in today. Cargo. I actually think these are Sean John. I've had these oh, really? forever, yeah. All right. Sean John. And on the feet, what do you got? What the you Nikes. Got? <laughs> and your requirement is that all my Nikes would have to have a bubble. Yeah. You don't like the white bottom. I don't like the white bottoms. So I think they Nikes. look a bit orthopedic when you do that all right. all right guys so that was just a little quick outfit oh what do you what, does this fit the jungle thing yeah what about your glasses what are you wearing these are ray-bans ray not your fay bands no i don't have a dollar store ray-bans on today they're in the car <laughs> so you know okay. all right that's eric's outfit of the day guys here at animal kingdom the crowds are um but it's a little bit more crowded over here um today as opposed to what it's been like the last two days um at epcot we've only done epcot and um animal kingdom which is which is what we're doing today but um epcot wasn't really crowded and you would have expected it to have quite a few more crowds seeing as that the uh, food and wine festival is going on um but i actually think it has something to do with the fact that today's saturday <laughs>
our flight of passage and Navi River journey. Two thumbs up for both. Definitely worth getting the fast pass, checking them out. I will warn you, if you are not staying on property, you are probably gonna have a hard time uh, getting a fast pass, but if you can, definitely check out those two rides. Disney is really starting to step up their game in terms of uh, putting some technology on these rides. So, I think it's Disney versus Universal. We'll see what Universal comes back with next. Thanks.